This is the ninth video in a series intended to teach you how to use the features of the FamilySearch Research Wiki to help find genealogical records about your ancestors who lived in Germany. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to search German records using the indexes of the FamilySearch collection. I'm going to teach you using English indexes to German records. Later, we'll add the German language to what we're doing. We're going to be looking at an organized strategy to make sure that you find all the members of a family. I'm going to show you how to use search requests to pick up the records that you need. Watch for the content that you will see in a German birth, marriage, and death record. Here are the steps in the search strategy I'd like you to learn. You begin by finding a birth or baptism record. Once you know the parents' names, you use them to search for the births of all the siblings. Then you look for the parents' marriage record. It is important to go through the death registers and find records for as many family members as you can. Then you look for the birth records of the parents and repeat the process starting with each parent. If you do not find the wanted records, you will do the same searches in the parishes nearby. People tended to not move very far away. We're going to do a case study based on Clara Helena Maria Gosal. This is what we know. She died in 1972, and the family thinks she was 80. She always celebrated her birthday on February 19th, and we have this picture of her, and on the back it says Steinburg, Germany. This is the search engine that will take you to the records indexed by the family search system. We enter Clara Helena Maria Gosal's name. We click on birth. We enter the birthplace and we estimate a range for the birth year. We click search and there she is. We get her full birth date and the town in Steinberg. And here are her parents' names. Clicking here opens a card that displays all the information in the index. This image that would lead you to a view of the original document. Now that we have found Clara, we can add her birth date, her exact birthplace, and we now know her parents' names. Next, using those parents' names, we will search for all of the children in the family. After the first search, the search engine now appears on the left Sidebar. I remove Clara's name so that the search will pick up a child of any name. Itzehoe is the parish and Steinberg is the Chrysler County. I'm going to stick with Steinberg in case the family moved around a little within the county. I'm going to go for a much wider time period. I search with the relationship parents. I can put Rudolph and Johanna. I click update. And we find three brothers, three sisters, and one unnamed sibling. So now we have added all of these children in the family. The next step in the strategy is to look for the parent's marriage. Again, I can change the search parameters on the left. I'm going to put in her father's name. I'm going to indicate that I'm looking for a marriage. I'm going to guess in the county of Steinberg somewhere in the range about five years before the first child is born, I will choose to search with the relationship. I will choose spouse and add the mother's name. And it brings up their marriage. In addition to the marriage date and place, we get his mother's name and we get the names of his spouse's father and mother. The next step in the strategy is to find death records for as many members of the family as we can. We fill out the search fields for Rudolph. We don't put any time on the death because we have no idea when he died. Here is his death entry. You click on his name to see the expanded form. Clicking on this miniature will bring up the original record. The message says, view the original document. The original may contain more information than was indexed. And this is an example of it. Here is Rudolph's original record. And right here, it states the date and place of his birth. Also, it gives his father's name, which did not show up on the marriage record. 
We fill out the information for Johanna, and here is her record. Again, we go to the original document. Here is her birth date and her birthplace. We add the death and birth information to Rudolph and Johanna, and we should continue searching for death records of their parents, which would probably give birth information for the parents and the grandparents' names. Now you try it. Memorize the steps in the search strategy. Be ready to recall the different kinds of information that can be found. Try to do some searches in Family Search, and then go to Part 10, where you will learn how to read all these records in German.